Now, from what I remember, John, you endeared yourself to, to George Steinbrenner about a comment you made during the broadcast. The team was playing poorly, and you said, you know, don't blame the GM and the owner, right? Yeah, it was a couple of years later. George and whoever the, the GM was, they had, you know, <laughs> the GM du jour. Right. You know. <laughs> um, they're getting killed in the newspapers. <laughs> And the, the team was very bad, 89, 90, 91, terrible teams. And um, I said on, it was a Sunday, and I went on my soapbox, my high horse, as one of those people would say in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. um, and I said, uh, what are you blaming George Steinbrenner and, let's say, Bob Quinn was the GM. I think it was Pete Harding Peterson. Peterson. Right, yeah. Pete Peterson. And I said... Uh, blame the players. They're the, they're the ones who are making out. They're the ones who can't get anyone out. So two nights later, we're in Milwaukee, and there's a rain delay. And uh, so I'm walking, walking around uh, this maze of booths in this old stadium, and George is sitting in one of the booths. And he stopped me, and uh, think of how good this made me feel. And he said to me, I just want you to know You'll always be the Yankee announcer. And if they, if they try to hire anyone, I'll veto it. <laughs> so I, I figured... <laughs> so I figured that he had heard, you know, what I said that day. You right. Know, and, it, and he liked it.